right. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, I totally understand. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to be able to. Uh, yeah, exactly. You've got to be able to travel when you can. Okay. Well, thank you very much. All right, cousin. Uh, yeah, it was great to talk to you, too. I can't wait to meet you. All right. All right. Thank you much. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be on the I'm, I'm gonna be on the first bus out of here as soon as I can. All right. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I'll see you soon. All right. All right. Yeah, bye. All right. Well, welcome back. It's uh, Vern74 again on Grandpa's Farm. I uh, just got off the phone with my cousin. Uh, never met the guy. <laughs> got a bunch of them I haven't met yet, honestly. Uh, he lives over in uh, Osina, Osina, Poland. That's just a few hundred miles from here. And uh, he, uh, he needed some help. And he gave me a call. And, uh, well, actually, he, he re returned my phone call, honestly. Uh, I gave him a, I gave him a quick phone call after uh, after my nap, and uh, got a got a got to clue you guys in. Uh, it was it wasn't much of a nap. I laid down and uh, and the, the first thing that came across the news was uh, was the fact that the uh, that that white flash I saw up in the sky, and the reason why that last video was uh, was very very poorly edited and kind of ended kind of funny. And uh, it cut out right after I, uh, right after I bought the manure spreader, and I thought it was just because my phone was being stupid, and and it was uh, having having an interference. But come to find out, that flash that I saw in the sky earlier, that happened to be an, an EMP that was detonated outside of Warsaw, Poland. Now Warsaw is the capital of, of Poland for for the people who aren't uh, geographically inclined to, to know the world uh, the, the Poland of cap uh, the, the capital of Poland is Warsaw and about 150 outside 150 miles outside of uh, of, uh, of Warsaw and EMP was detected as going off and it disrupted everything around Warsaw it basically shut down the capital for several hours um, the cell phone tower the closest cell phone tower that I use that was affected that that really that that's what what messed up everything it kind of messed up my pda it messed up the recordings uh a couple of my gopros got fried that i've got on the equipment and uh it's a pretty scary fact and it just it was uh supposedly it was uh, it was those those ukrainians i was telling you about and uh oh boy i hope i made that ration right yes i did i'm kind of a Kind of hysterics here. I'm not not too happy about the the situation with uh, the Ukrainian rebels, fanaticals, radicals, whatever you want to call them. Uh, in the United States, we call them terrorists, but these guys are something else over here. Uh, so after uh, after calling my uh, calling my cousin to find out how uh, how bad this situation is going to get, he. Uh, <laughs> he basically told me that to get to get while the getting was good, and uh, so I, I decided I made myself a quick snack. And once I got done with a quick snack, there was a knock on the door, and oh, I teleported one too many times there. There was a knock on the door, and I go to the answer the door, and here's this chubby fellow standing there, and <laughs> he's got this this cheap suede suit, the whole nine yards, and he's sweating profusely. Uh, the, the guy comes. And he asked me for my if, if I was uh, if, if I was born seventy four, and I said yeah. And I'm, I'm the new proprietor of the farm. I said yeah, and uh, so I asked him for uh, his identification. And come to find out, he was the, the farm inspector. And uh, we chatted for a minute, and we proceeded to eat all my donuts, and uh, had several cups of coffee, and. Uh, didn't even really look around the farm. He just basically just checked my paperwork and uh, mentioned how his daughter has a f finishing school that he needs to pay for in a couple hours. And uh, basically that was it. And uh, I was kind of waiting for him to come and you know, inspect the farm and look for the feed and look at the you know the environment the animals live in the whole nine yards. And he just he just kind of kind of sat there. And he sat there and he sat there and, and uh, I. 
So I asked him you know, if he wanted to go see the, see the farm, and he said, no, that wouldn't be necessary. And uh, he, he said he, he was in a hurry because he had, a, had to hurry back for uh, some event that's happening at his daughter's finishing school. And uh, I did that's no problem. I, you know, so I asked him if there was anything else that uh, you know, we, we needed to do, and he's just basically uh, he held, held his hand out. <laughs> And I asked him, I said, is there, some, uh, is there some information that I haven't given you? He says, well, there's your standard application fee. I said, oh, standard application fee, I see. I says, uh, how much is that, uh, how much is the, the application fee? Well, he said it was $5,000. Well, $5,000 was exactly the amount he was complaining about not having enough money to pay for his daughter's finishing school. So, I... I was gonna say something, but yet this is uh, this is this is the, an official from the government, and I just so I gave him the I gave him the five thousand dollars, and he gave me the piece of paper that says I'm an established farm, and apparently that's how things things roll around this part of the woods. It's, to me, I'm, I'm not passing judgment, but to me, it. It really seemed like the guy was like Russian Mafia <laughs> or s something along those lines where it was basically it's just a, a greasy payoff and uh, I mean the guy didn't even come out and look at the farm. He didn't even come out and look at the animals. I mean he never even left my house. The only animal he saw was, was a, a picture of a cow hanging on the wall. So in one way I'm glad it's over with. In another way it's it's very unreassuring that uh, basically I just bribed my way into being a farmer in Poland. Hey, whatever. Good thing I have standards. But uh, as, a, as a parting gift, uh, I, I, was, I clued him into the conversation that I was having with my cousin about the, uh, the recent, recent violence and whatnot. And uh, he, he was telling me that he wasn't even going to come today, but the only day, the only reason he came today was because of the peacekeeping forces that happened to be in the area, and and he's he just he felt more reassured to, to come today. He was going to reschedule because of all of these rebel rebel antics that are in the news and all of the stuff that you hear about. And uh, one thing led to another, and we started talking about the. Uh, I could turn this off now because we got the cows basically fed now. Um, we started reminiscing about the uh, the story of the missing girl because the car is still over here and I haven't seen any investigators since well it's probably been two hours since I've seen an investigator but uh, the car is still over there and last I knew they hadn't found the girl well this guy he just came in from uh, came in from out of town and he's got sources inside the government and he said they found the body and when they say body, obviously she's she's dead. And it was definitely I'm not supposed to tell anybody, it's supposed to be a big hush hush secret. I guess I I guess I can come over here now. I don't see any any cops. Um but apparently well they, they even took the plate. Yeah, they don't want nobody to know nothing about this. They took the plate right off the car. Yeah, she's a ghost now. Um I'm getting out of here. But anyway, um, the uh, apparently it was those uh, those U Ukrainians. They got a hold of her and they passed her around and had their way and ended up killing her and they ditched her in a cornfield about 80 miles from here. And uh, I'm kind of glad it wasn't my cornfield, but yet that was somebody's daughter. That's just wrong. You know, they shouldn't. That's just that's just wrong. But um, according to him, if the uh, if well, the inspector, according to him, if I plan on traveling, uh, now now would be the time to be to be getting a move on and, and getting out of country while uh, getting well around the country and uh, get, getting all the getting's good before the before security gets too high and they start putting up roadblocks and whatnot. It's really going to make travel a bitch, I guess. So. Uh, I'm just taking one last cruise around the farm here. Uh, I would like to, I would like to feed the pigs a little more, but I don't have a whole lot to feed them. What I do have to feed them has got to grow. 
cows are set. My cousin only needs me for one day, so it's not like I'm leaving for three or four days. I've got a guy here to babysit the farm already. Julius from next door. He's going to come over and help out. Or not Julius, uh, Jamal. That was his name. He seemed to be a good worker. Trustworthy. Um, yeah, the pigs are the pigs are exploding, so i got to have somebody here to keep an eye on the baby pigs. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna head over I'm gonna head over to Asina, and I help out my cousin. Uh, that five thousand dollars out of the pocket to the inspector that really hurt my my funding situation. So I, I really could use a little extra little extra cash flow right now. Um. Yeah, I think I'm about set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna park this new tractor. Uh, yeah, this was a tractor that we picked up new. Um, long make a long story short, we uh, we we bought a new tractor. That was uh, that was in that last uh, that, that last update. They basically got deleted by that that terrorist EMP attack in Warsaw. God, it's so freaky to even think about something like that. But I guess this this I don't know. I shouldn't say reassuring, but. Now we know that uh, it doesn't just happen in the United States. We're not just the primary target. Everybody's stuck with this domestic terrorist crap. Drop this weight right here, I hope. Ah, uh, it flipped over. I hate it when that flips over. Oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, give the animals some water and. Uh, I think I'm out of here. I went up. I already already bought my bus ticket because uh, that was another part of his, his advice: is uh, get there and get your bus ticket. He says that way uh, you'll have your ticket even if the place is closed when uh, when the time comes to leave. He says you can't kick you off the bus if you got a ticket. <laughs> so I'll take his advice. He's he's from this country. I'm, I'm not. But yeah, this is the uh, the milk trailer I bought. I know earlier I was calling it a container, but it's, uh, this is the milk trailer I bought. It hauls water too, which is sweet. And uh, dual purpose, a little small, but it's getting the job done. I'm not even going to really top these guys off. I'm just going to give them one load up here, one load down to the pigs, and. Uh, I gotta make a mile. We have Jamal, Jamal come up and babysit these guys. Not really worried about the animals. I'm more worried about uh, Kurt or any of uh, Kurt's associates showing up and helping themselves to some more free goodies. And break my heart if those uh, Ukrainians got their hands on Kurt. <laughs> Excuse me. Alrighty, let's uh Okay. We're good. We're all set, I do believe. This one fills up faster than that other one I had. Wow. Cool. Water for the piggies. Take one last look at the situation here. Cows are good, at least for a couple days. So if something does happen, I can't get back. They're probably they're probably set for three days, two days, three days at least. I'm only gonna be gone for one, I hope. Um gotta clean up after the chickens, but I guess I better do that before I leave. Those pigs get all the water they need. I think so. Yep. Okay. You know what? I've only got like 10 chickens, so I think a little bit of a build up with the chicken cleanliness, having a little build up chicken poop ain't gonna hurt nothing. I gotta get to my cousins. 
got a couple hundred miles to make. They're going to go make some money. Oh, I'm getting all stressed out over this. There we go. Let me deliver this right here. There. Okay. Let me run down to the house. Uh, let me get this out of the way. That way Jamal can clean up better. Easily. Honestly, you know what? Maybe I will hook onto that bucket and go clean up the chickens that way. That way the bucket's all hooked on. I don't have to worry about... I don't have to worry about Jamal hurting his fingers or smashing some equipment trying to hook up that bucket. Always try to make things idiot-proof for your workers. It saves a lot of time in the long run. And frustration. And money. I sure hope the buses are up and running. Especially after an EMP explosion. That might have caused all kinds of havoc. I might not even be able to get a bus out of here. I didn't think about that. There you go, little chickies. You're all set. I can go make some money. I haven't made a paycheck in a couple weeks. Between quitting my other job and getting ready to move over here and being here for five days. I haven't actually had a paycheck paycheck. I've made money. Spent it even faster though. More expensive being a farmer. I'm going to clean up some goodies while I'm out here too. Got a couple minutes to spare. The bus doesn't leave until uh, 1.30, so... I'll leave this right here and Jamal can dump it out. Keep the cows. Okay, <clears throat> all set, everything was all put away, uh, that could stay out I guess. Oh, the lock the gates. Lock the gates, that way I know if Kurt showed up. All right, gates are all locked up. Um, there's one more gate way over here. I'll put my boots on. <gasps> oh man, blood suckers. Oh, I was swimming, Greg got blood sucker stuck on my foot. It's a big one too. Oh God. Oh God. Let me pick him up. Okay, bye bye blood sucker. I've never seen a blood sucker that big, man. I think it was like a foot long. Good thing it's not a chicken sucker. <laughs> uh, you gotten my chicken McNuggets, Spike Alley. <laughs> Alrighty. Cousin Sebastian, I'm on my way, brother. Cousin Sebastian, Osina, Poland. I gotta remember that. Cousin Sebastian, Osina, Poland. All right, everything else is closed, locked up, tighter than a drum. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, my door, yeah, it's busted. I tried the other night to close it. It got chilly. Yeah, door doesn't close. Kurt busted it right off the hinges. 
apparently he was looking for stuff in Grandpa's office and couldn't get in, so. He broke in. Yep. Alright, gate's locked. Alright, let me check the PDA, make sure everything's fertilized, ready to grow. Soil composition, looking good. A little light around the edges, but, eh. Fruit type, corn, six, wheat, 13, 14, and seven is canola. All right. Cows are fed. Pigs are good to go for a little while. I gotta get back here, get that harvest in. Alrighty. Let my harvest time to normal. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see here. Um, might as well save my progress, just in case Jamal screws up my database. I told him to stay away from the computer and the PBA just to clean up after the animals, but you know how people are when the front door can't close and nobody's home. Go snooping through the medicine cabinets. But, well, let me teleport to my truck here. There she is. Oh, well, the bus still isn't here. I'll listen to the radio while we're waiting, I guess. Oh, lordy. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't wait to see what my cousin's farm looks like. That should be cool. That should be interesting. Hope we can get there with no problems. Hope there's no roadblocks or nothing. Hope the bus doesn't break down. Whoops, sorry about the view. They got a security camera up there, eh? Yeah, look at that. Closed circuit camera. You can't see me. I'm blinding you. Yeah, but anyway, I'll probably call the government and have me arrested. <laughs> oh, just enjoy the tunes, waiting for the bus. Do, 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 do. Come on, bus. Oh. oh, did you hear that? What was that? What the heck was that noise? Oh, got it. Maybe the bus is here. Uh, nope. <laughs> what is that? What, what, oh my god! Oh my god! What, what is going on? What? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's, it's, it's the Ukrainian rebels! They're attacking! They're attacking! Oh my God! I better run! It's the Ukrainian rebels. They're here. They're oh my God! They're 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 killing everybody! Oh my God! What am I gonna do? I better run! Oh, somebody help me! I better find help! Oh my God! Thank you so much for stopping, Captain. Oh no problem, sir. Anytime. What seems to be the problem? Well, the Ukrainians tanks. They just yes, we're in, we're in hot pursuit of those Ukrainian tanks as we speak. Wait, what is the problem? Well, they're just a bunch of pissed off Russians, sir. But you're lucky this peacekeeping unit was happened to be in your neighborhood. We just saved that town you're living in. Over Kabash? Yes, we just saved that entire town from devastation from these guys. We got these rebel scum on the ropes. See if we can't push them back here. Well, I appreciate it, Captain. I'm just going to shut my mouth and sit back and let you let you do your thing. Can you can you possibly get me across the map? I'm going to my cousin's farm. He needs help. Yeah, I can definitely get you across the map, sir. So just sit on back and enjoy the ride. You got it, Captain. So you're a farmer, eh, kid? Yeah, I'm a farmer. Well, that's good to hear. Good to hear. Not too many people out there choosing to be farmers. A lot of hard work in farming. Not too many people enjoy hard work anymore. I can tell you that from being in the the tank regiment here for the good old country of Poland. They just uh, they just don't make them like they used to. Hard to find good help. 
hard to find good workers, good soldiers. There we got him. We killed him. There's one in the definite, definite inflicted some damage. That was a good shot, Captain. Well, thank you, sir. We're gonna help. I'll push up here and help these guys. Hang on to your pants, there, farmer boy. We're going for. We're going in. Uh, Captain, I hope you don't mind me saying so, but uh, happen to notice your your radar screens telling everybody that uh, whew, they're going to attack your base cap. Yeah, it's all part of war. We need to attack this as fast as possible, then hopefully get back and defend that base. We cannot afford to let these Ukrainian scum win another battle. He's dead. Another tank destroyer down. Ooh, big old German. Yes, he's dead. Ooh, another Russian tank down. Ooh, another German tank. Here we go. Here we go, farmer. This is how we kill Russians in these parts. Germans, too. Ooh, and I bounced. That's what happens when I show off as tank commander. Oh, I got shot. Oh, he killed my gunner. Far farmer, take over as the gunner. Okay, I, how do I do this? I tell you to shoot at You just pull the trigger. Okay, stupid. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh boy, how did it turn into this, man? I'm supposed to be milking a cow right now, not shooting bullets. Oh, Cousin Sebastian, I'm gonna kick your ass. You better pay good. Oh, oh target the open, Captain. Fire! I don't have a clear... Yeah, shoot! Ah, okay, oh, somebody pulled out a miracle shot. He just wiped his ass with that bullet. Uh, Captain, yeah, well, I was trying to keep things PG-13 here. Oh, I'm sorry. Wiped his anus. Oh, I wrecked him. He damn near killed him. <laughs> I have seven in the open, fellas. Fire. Well, Farmer, it looks like we might be able to get you to your destination after all. You Ukrainian scum. They're just not cut out to fight the... Sorry, didn't mean to stop right there, but I thought we were being followed by a light tank. Yes, these rebel scum, they're, they are nothing compared to the, the militia that the Polish government has set up. Never underestimate the Polish people. Don't believe me? Just ask the Russians. They couldn't kill us. They killed a lot of us, but they didn't finish us. Just like this Russian right here, this Russian's gotta go. Oh, somebody took him out. Need to defend the base, people. Drop him off at the next bus depot so he can get to his cousins on time. Got some titties to pull. Got to get cows to milk. Requesting fire, you got it. Oh, big old Maws, big old German. Yeah, he's got air conditioning now. Here comes my backup. Hey there, Mozzie. Go ahead, get behind that big old dirt pile. It's not gonna help you. Oh, it helped him. Grr. Load up, baby. Oh, lordy. Can't believe he just bounced another one. It's okay, farmer. This is your first day in a tank, so can't penetrate every shot. Well, I appreciate that, Captain. Sure, it'd be nice to get this kill, though. 
Oh, another baloney bounce. You've got to be kidding me. What am I doing wrong, Captain? I have no idea, Farmer. You suck, apparently. Haha, <laughs> yeah. No offense, right, Captain? Yeah, no offense. There we go, we got the kill. Hey, not great shot, Farmer. Hey, Captain, why do we sound a lot alike? We're re separated at birth. Not quite sure, but we've uh, we won the battle, and now you can go to your cousins. Well, I finally made it to Asina. Boy, that was something else. <laughs> never, never, ever in a million years did I ever think I would be in the middle of a tank war. Unbelievable. Let alone having to having to help shoot the freaking gun. Oh, what's this? Oh, this must be the store. Hello, sir. Yes. Hi, my name is Vern74. I'm here to see my uh, my cousin, Sebastian. Oh, really? Really, you say so? Oh, he was here? Oh, okay. I have, do I have to wait for him? Uh, what was that? Uh, he, he, he left a horse for me? What do, you, what, what do you mean the horse is for me? I just get on the horse and it's going to take me to Sebastian's. Seriously? Uh, Alright, thank you, sir. Well, apparently I, this is Sebastian's horse and he says his name is Whitey. Get on him and they'll take me to Sebastian's place, I guess. Well, he knows where he's going. Woo. Woo. Easy. I've never ridden, ridden a horse in my life. Easy. Slow down. Easy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Now it's running. Oh, no. I'm going to die. It's not I stopped this thing. Ah! Stop. Oh, okay. Phew. Good boy, Whitey. Good boy. Ooh. Ooh. All right, that's a little better. I can handle this. Where's Sebastian's farm at, boy? Where is it? Uh-oh, uh oh what'd I say? Oh, it's running again. Oh, no. Easy. Whoa, boy, whoa, whoa. Okay. Phew. All right, I'm just going to shut up and let him go. Ooh. This is actually kind of fun. Might have to buy me one of these things. Never was uh, much of a horse guy, but uh, I, c I can see how this is. Uh, yeah, I can see how this is fun. Sure. Whoa, whoa. We're going down here now? Okay. I don't see any farms around here. Sure hope we don't run into any tanks. I hate to run into a tank on a horse. That's a German thing to do. Uh, all right, Whitey, what you got? Let's go. Yeah, baby, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mule. Uh, giddy up. Ah, there we go. Ha <laughs> Magic word, giddy up. I wonder if these are Sebastian's fields. Beautiful countryside, anyway. So, oh, I see a barn over there. Hey, maybe, uh, I think we're maybe we're getting close to Sebastian's place. I'm coming, cousin. I think. Unless your horse is broken.
Well, somebody left a skip. I'm not the only one that leaves skips behind. That's quite the road. Look at the shale. Look at the shale ledges these guys got to drive across. Got to be rough on the vehicles. Yeah, mule. Yeah. That boy. Well, somebody's been doing some harvesting. Yeah, I'm like picking some corn. I wonder if this is Sebastian's. Oh, he's got one of those Edge Deluxe Barns, too. See, I'm not the only one that bought one of those. Nice. Haha, <laughs> red, just like mine. I like it. Ooh, fancy. Haha, <laughs> the fort shit? Yeah. Popular mower, apparently. <clears throat> oh, he's got some nice equipment. We're going to right away, horse. Farm's back there. Horse. Horse. Farm. Hello? Where the hell are we going? Oh, we're going logging, huh? Well, Sebastian the deer hunting. I think this is Sebastian's place. Come on, horse. Beaver action going in here, huh? Huh. Ooh, woodpeckers. Woodpeckers eating the dead wood. Must be got some dead wood out here somewhere. Where the heck are we going, man? I'm going go in the middle of the woods. I don't want to go on a horse ride. I want to go to the farm. The farm's over there. Oh, I think. Oh, wait a minute. I'll go. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, this is somebody's house. This is not. This is not the woods. This is like a settlement. I wonder if this is Sebastian's place. Um. Let's go knock on the door. Well, there's a horse pen. Where do we go, horse? Oh, where are we? You home or you just lost? Hello, horse. Where are we going? Hello? Oh, stop running. Hey, whoa, whoa. Well, I told stop running. Stupid horse. What's your problem? Why don't you go? Stop. Stop. Stupid horse. Where's oh, where's Sebastian? What he's not in here. Oh, are you serious, horse? Are you serious? You led me to the hay? Are you serious? What a stupid horse. <sighs> you even got a stupid look on your face right now. Yeah, no, you're not getting any, no. Take me to Sebastian. Let me guess, we're not even here. You just smelled the hay. What's up? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, is this it? Yo, Sebastian. You home? Hello. Do what? You're in a bedroom. Why are you in the bedroom? You got your girlfriend over. Oh man, I I I came halfway across Poland to come and help you do crops, so you can have your girlfriend over. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me! I was just in a freaking tank battle, man. I almost got killed to come over here and help you. I'll have a glass of water at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your your water sucks too, by the way. Hey, you, you gonna come help me? Uh -uh. What do you mean? Uh uh. I know you got your girlfriend over. She gonna help? No. Uh -huh. Help you? Help you with what? Uh -huh. Oh, I, oh man. Let's try to keep things PG thirteen here, man. I can't be. What do you want me to do with your stupid horse? Yeah, Sebastian, your your horse is an idiot too, man. Turn him into glue. What do you want me to do with him? Back of the pen, you you got it. Stupid horse. Hey, Sebastian, let me know when you're done with your girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you better be paying good too, buddy. Man, lucky your family. I'd quit right now and go home. Middle of a tank battle for this guy, just so he can get a little nookie on the side. You gotta be kidding me. I might as well clean you up. Ugh, I don't want to get on you. I just want to clean you, stupid. You are a dumb horse. There. Bye bye, dumb horse. All right. Oh, this guy, does he even have a computer? Living out here in Redneck East Bumfuddle. You got a computer, stupid? I mean, you don't have a computer. Smart TV. What do you mean you got a smart TV? You got a smart TV and you don't use anything else. You're even getting rid of the radios. Oh, man. Does your girlfriend know about this? Oh, I wasn't talking to you, girl. You just be quiet. Let's see. Let me scan this thing. I got to get your... I, I got to get your information. I got to get your property dimensions, your boundary lines for your property. Okay, man? Uh -huh. All right, let me scan that. Yeah. It, your, 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 your smart TV's junk, too, man. Get a PDA. Personal digital assistant, in case you can't figure out what PDA means. God. Some people. Now, see, he's got money to get a Massey Ferguson skidster. Sure. Oh boy, look at the eggs. Look at the eggs. He must have a lot of chickens. Oh my god, he's got a lot of chickens. Jump with the chicken crap. Got a lot of chickens. A lot of chickens. Get away from me. I don't want no bird flu. I was already in a tank battle getting here. Last thing you need to catch a bird flu and go home. Oh. Alright. Let me get out here. All right, what else has this guy got around here? Man, look at the eggs he's got to sell. Hey, he's got one of them automatic feeders like Grandpa had. Cool. Ooh. Hay storage. I like it. He's got the, the new, stay, new hay storage and the old hay storage. I'm going to close the door that way. Stupid horse. Won't be smelling the grass when it comes next time to go riding. Oh, what's he got here? Sheep. Hey, look at sheep. Hey, these aren't my sheep, are they? <laughs> yeah, real funny. Wow, look at the wool. Man, you've been busy. Sebastian's got some wool to sell. Greenhouses. Oops, I don't need a chainsaw for the greenhouse. Well, Sebastian, he's got the he's got a steel. I kinda like the John's red myself. 
Cucumbers. Nice. I'm going to borrow your tractor. Help myself. What are you going to do? Stop me? You're going to pull out and come and stop me then. <laughs> All right, PG-13, PG-13. What do you got over here, Sebas? More greenhouses. Kind of a funky place for grain storage. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. Where you feed your pigs, huh? Well, what's up with the wood chips? What's up with the wood chips? I didn't go ask Sebastian. Looks like he did that on purpose. Things are eating healthy. Well, this is an interesting little farm he's got set up here. Right in the middle of nowhere. Let's see, I, I scanned this. I scanned this information into my PDA. What's he got going on here? We out here in the middle of, uh, where are we? Oh, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. I get it. Ah, yeah, off the grid, farm in the middle of nowhere. Ah, those, those are his buildings out there. The Deluxe Barn from Edge. Yep. Yep, those are his equipment. Wow, he's got some serious harvest in the Idaho. That's a big, big field. 47. Where's the rest of the numbers? Oh, I see what he did. He cut one field into, into a bunch of little fields. Got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fields, it looks like he cut out of that one giant field. Wow. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's impressive. I have to go ask him what those wood chips are all about. Hey, cuz. Hello. Yeah, what's the wood chips all about, man? It stops the animals from making a mess with their feet? Oh, no kidding. Well, uh, well. Why don't you like cleaning up the the, the animals' feed? Well, you, you don't clean them up to clean up after your animals. You do. Then why do you have wood chips down? More time with your girlfriend. Oh my God! All right, dude. I, I I see where your priorities are. I think you're thinking with the wrong head. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use your teleport device too, bud. I'm not running around. You got this back 40. I'm not running all the way out that logging trail just to go get something done. All right. Here we go. Boy, look at this thing. Big old case. Wow. Nice tractor. What is that? 7250 Magnum, huh? Phew. Nice. What else we got? Oh, he's got a forklift. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, he's got the same tractor I do. Yeah, duels. Yeah. Oh, here's a harvester. We might as well get him going. Sure hope my cousin doesn't mind me managing this crew. Seems like he's uh, managing... <laughs> Managing something else right about now. Oh, nice truck. Oh, he's got the uh, the old uh, five. Oh, excuse me, the seven fifty four too. Yeah, a little different setup with the with the wagons. All that's pretty slick. I like that setup. I like that. I might have to uh, might have to think about doing that with mine. But uh, I don't think. Let's see. How far, how tall is that air breather on the truck? Yeah, I, I can't do that. 
I can't do that with uh, with my little farm. The bison will never reach it. I think the bison would hit the wagons. But that's still a pretty slick setup right there. I like that. wonder how much it hauls. We'll find out in a little bit, won't we? Oh, he's got another one. Oh, this is the cow barn. Oh, no kidding. This is a nice cow barn. Made in Poland, huh? Oh, look at that. He's got these uh, them South American cows. Ooh, he must have paid a pretty penny to have them shipped up here. Ooh, big old fat mamas. Wow. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, a little black Angus cross. Nice. Nice. Well, they're all big and fat. Look at the udder on that cow. Wow, she's got some milk in her. Beautiful looking animals, cuz. Like it. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, he's got the new Holland. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Ooh, ooh, dash lights and everything. Shiftable gears. Floor pedal action. I like it. Oh, it's even got a hand throttle. Yeah. All right. Chrome pipe that vibrates with the engine motor. Or uh, engine vibrations, I mean. Ha, ha, ha. That's sweet. I might have to buy me one of these. Yeah, he's got that same manure spreader. I almost bought this manure spreader right here. I almost bought it. Boy, he's been using the crap, using the shit out of his, huh? <laughs> Literally. I'm kind of glad I didn't get it. Looks, just doesn't look right without a tailgate. All right. Next. Ooh, he's got a Fiat. Nice Fiat. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like it a lot. I'm going to have to give you one of these, too. Hand throttle, shiftable gears. Oh, yeah. Extreme shiftable gears. Ooh, yeah, I like this tractor. I might have to see how much these are. I think I'm going to buy one. Haven't even really used it, but just by the sounds and the looks and... The animation of the... Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Alright, next. Yeah, we all know about this thing. She's a goodie, though. Oh, he bought the four shit. Four shit little tractor, huh? Eh, normal. Lame. Ooh, the old Fiat 150 horsepower. This is a good little tractor here. I've run one before. Good tractors here. All kinds of pull and power. Loving the weight. Yep, loving the way it plows. Nice. Oh, he's got two of these little jalopies, huh? Well, I guess we've seen them all. All right, well, time to get some, time to get some harvesting done. This guy's done. Let's get him moving again. Oh, sure hope I don't get any post-traumatic stress from that uh, tank incursion. Just trying to get here. Tell ya. Risk my life and limb to come and help the family just so he can play grab ass with his girlfriend. I thought this was an emergency. Some sort of a some sort of a tragedy or an emergency that happened over here to require some, some serious assistance to call family in for backup to help out, but 
currently getting some as an emergency in Poland. Uh, but then again, I've yet to meet Cousin Sebastian to his face, so... He might be ugly. <laughs> I don't, 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 don't tell him I said that, but... He, you know, if he's one of them ugly guys and... You know, you gotta you gotta get it when you can. You know, I, I kind of understand that. <laughs> well, not personally, but I've I've heard stories, you know. <laughs> but all right, well, I'm gonna knock out some corn and what else has he got to go here? He enjoys playing catch the kitty. Probably everything. Growth. Oh my God, he's got everything to do. Uh, Soil composition. Has he at least fertilized? He's fertilized almost everything. I don't know what that's all about. I wonder if that's a hay field. Yeah, it is. Well, looks like I've got my work cut out for me. Um, phew. I guess that's going to finish it for this installment. Uh, telling you, I'm going to need a good beer after this day's over with. Getting shot at. Finally make it to my cousins to find out he's shooting all kinds of different loads, but it's not at an enemy. Oh, lordy. But, uh, live and learn, onwards and upwards. Thank God for the Polish militia. That big old uh, T60, 60 TP tank I got a chance to ride in. That was that was something you don't get to do every day. But uh, oh well. Until next time, people. Uh, I hope after I went through today, I really hope I get some likes and shares because that was intense. But uh, I'll hit you up next time. Keep you posted. I'll uh, let you know if I if I make it back to my cousin's farm and uh, try to keep you updated. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the militia keeps the Ukrainians at bay so we can get my cousin's, my cousin's farm cleared off all these crops here before, uh, before that last incursion affects the economy. But, uh, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. But, uh, this is Vern74 signing off from, uh, Grandpa's farm. Well, now I'm on my cousin's farm, but... We're all still, still in Poland, Grandpa's farm. I guess it counts. Have a good day, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna go find me some Kevlar for the ride home, even if I have to make it. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.